Okay, so it's the fourth session of this uh, training course, and of course we did modify the content a little bit, mainly in order to be to have it more in line with the hot topics of the moment. And uh, as an example, now the several studies show that the acceptability of aquaculture is, is really a hot topic everywhere in Europe, in the north, in the south, even of course in the med. So in order to improve that acceptability of the activity, uh, one possibility is to integrate the recirculation system into multi-trophic systems, which are more able to best use all the input into the system and to reduce the waste of the system. So for this session, we included more of those, uh, let's say, uh, uh, reflection about how to integrate RAS into uh, an integrated uh, system. Yeah. Uh, and then, okay, uh, what we did also is that uh, in the last uh, sessions we took more space for practical activities because it was a demand of the students and uh, for them it's very important to be really confronted to something which is a concrete case study and with the help of everybody and interacting uh, be between themselves, the, the, the really it, it, give, it give good results. I mean, and it, would, uh, it gives a better interaction between them and it gives them more tools to uh, later on be able to, to cope with uh, practical uh, case studies. So if, when we look uh, to the future of uh, RAS, then uh, when we look in uh, Europe, then we can see strong increase in the use of these type of systems in uh, small culture, especially in, in Norway. It is already in use uh, for a much longer time in hatcheries. Uh, it has shown that it, has, uh, it can improve also the biosecurity and the quality of uh, the larval production. But uh, yeah, if we look into the future, we th I foresee at least a large increase in the use, especially in small culture at the moment. I think it's very important because uh, the Norwegian industry is very powerful yeah. and they are re really getting into RAS aquaculture. Yeah. So they will help us to really improve the technology and yeah, I think it's very important. Yeah. Yeah. And applying it in that sector yeah. will give yeah. in fact a faster improvement of this technology in aquaculture production, mm -hmm. and especially in on-growing, I think, in the future. Yeah. And, and I, I also, um, as we see more uh, of these large industries getting into aquaculture, then also the banks and the funding agencies become more familiar with recirculation systems, and that is a very important aspect in looking at the growth of, of recirculation systems at the future, because there have been many uh, progresses or, or much progress in the technology of aquaculture, but the investment has been slow to come in large part because the funding agencies are not familiar with recirculation systems. So they are reluctant to provide the funding. Um, and I guess this brings us into, into the last uh, issue that we wanted to address and that is the group of students who are here for the course uh, and, and the, the, avail the availability of, of trained uh, people to do recirculation systems. We have for the course a very diverse group of students coming from many countries around the Mediterranean. Um, some are uh, people who are engineers who are working in say production companies, large production companies, so they are very familiar with large-scale recirculation systems and others may be biologists um, from government agencies or from universities uh, who are using recirculation systems but are not necessarily uh, familiar with the design of the system. So this creates challenges for us as instructors in that there is a huge range in terms of the background of the students, but it also creates great opportunities for the exchange of information uh, for the students and also for all of us. So I think it's, it's a, a double-sided uh, uh, thing.